we are going to look into how we can customize a specific page or we can create from scratch a specific page we created our services page and we don't have any information right there now when we come back here to our dashboard you come to all pages you come right down here to service page you edit that page and uh, by default it's showing like this but we want to edit this page with elementor and here we are we can start by adding a number of sections but the main thing i want to show you is that you can even copy or get a copy of a section from another page and use it on a totally different page for example when i come back here to our dashboard and then i'm going to come to pages i'm going to open up our home page with elementor i can come over here to this main section i can say copy i can come to our service page and i can paste that section i can say our services i can come to this section here at the top and then i can set a minimum height and say maybe fit to screen that will give it like a minimum height that fits to the screen or i can choose from a height that i want i can come to the advanced options and i delete the padding options i'm going to link them up then i'll delete everything over there and uh, i can even say i want to add some custom padding at the top let me say like 50 and i can come back here i can add like a minimum height for this specific section okay i can also come here to the internal section and i delete the bottom padding so that it's uniform and i can delete our button over here and if i want to add a custom button i simply come over here to the widgets search for a button widget drag it over there place it and i am good to go i have a button added now but anyway i don't want a button now we have created the first section on our service page but remember we also had another section on our home page that had something to do with services you know it has all these services so i can simply come over here and say copy this section come here to our services page i can simply paste this section okay now these are the services we offer you can add or duplicate this section and add a number of other services for example when i click over here you see that it's an image box widget so when i duplicate this now I've duplicated that section and i delete everything here for example if i delete all the first items you see that i remain with three i can come back here i search for an image box this is how it looks like adding it over there i can now add images as my icons for example this over here and now i can add description text just like this you can change that here too it's a lighting as a service and you can even duplicate this exact same section to another section just like this you can change the background of this uh, specific section to something that you want I want to leave it at default and if i no longer want that section i can simply delete that i can uh, preview this section on a tablet on a mobile to see how it will look like and that's all i can even uh, add links to specific uh, pages or sections or a contact page for a specific widget or a service if someone wants to contact us so you see now here someone can click over here and they can go to our contact page which is on the same thing here and you do that from over here and like i said earlier you can even open it up in a new window now once you've added your services then you are good to go you can simply update the other thing that you can use is already made templates elementor brings you already made pages just like this over here and also blocks over here these are some of the already made blocks that you can use in your elementor enable websites and you can even 
come over here and you can filter them based on a service maybe about archive call to action clients contact or basically want service blocks and here they will show up if you don't want to use templates made by elementor you can create your own templates and they will be saved over here and you can simply import those page templates in your elementor pages in this case i don't want to use any templates from elementor let me check out this other widget which is made by astra astra also makes like i've told you already pre-made starter sites or even also makes single pages for like services you know uh, about home page contact and all that stuff so right here they are already made pages that you can select from for a services page or you can even come over here and search for service and over here you'll get service page templates that have already been pre-made by astra in this case i'm not interested in full pages as a template to use in my service page i simply want a block and by simply switching over here to block i can come over here and i filter a block based on a page that i'm creating now i want a service block and right here astra will list all the service blocks available so if maybe i'm interested in this one i can preview that if it impresses me i can import the block when i import that block it will be added to my page in elementor and boom this is where we are okay and you can still make changes to anything right within here in this page you can change colors change fonts and all that stuff once you are done creating your service page having whatever you want whether you're using already made templates or you are simply borrowing uh, sections from another section or you are creating everything right from scratch by starting over here well goes back to what you want once you are done you simply hit update and now when we come over here to our services page before it was empty but now you're going to see that we have content on that page see now we have our services listing the services and right down here we have another section you can even rename that section to something else let me say from third parties maybe these are services that you also have to hire another company to do for you okay and you can list them right there or you can even add call to actions to this section and there you are good to go so when i come back to my services page i reload you realize that our header shows up over there 